Chris Guthrie here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use AmaSync to create content faster using the AmaSuite software tools. So, this is going to be on the assumption that you found some great products to promote using the Top 100 Analyzer and or the Product Inspector. So, if you're using these two tools and you've done your research, found some products, you can uh, export the ASINs. There's an option I'll show you here in a live demo here in a second. But what we're able to do is take the uh, ASINs that you've exported from that those tools and then import in them into WordPress using Amasync. And this will allow you to more quickly create content using the products that you found within Amasuite. So let me show you a live demo of how this works. So you can use either the Top 100 Analyzer or the Product Inspector to do this. But for this example, I'll just use the Product Inspector. I'm going to do a search for Samsung 3D TV just to continue, uh, continue the example I've shared before. I'm going to select the category electronics. Uh, I'll leave this uh, the same and I'll just say a couple pages because I don't want to put in too many products. Now run this real quick here and it's going to go through and find these specific products. So now I've got a list here of different products. Now if I wanted to I can go through and remove different types of uh, line items here but instead I'm just going to uh, show really easily how this works. Now, say I've already gone through and I've removed which products uh, I don't really care to promote, but I've left the ones that I do. Um, once I've done that, I simply click this button, Export ASINs. Now, once you do that, it'll prompt you to save a file. So you save that to your computer. And then next, what you're going to do is you're going to actually import that file into your WordPress blog using Amasync. So uh, the setup steps are listed in the help area of the members area. You basically just put in your access key and your secret access key along with your associates tag. And then you go here and you click browse and you upload that file. Now I'm going to select uh, post draft because I don't want the post to be automatically published. That's generally what I recommend as well. So I click save settings and sync. And now as I said here, how many posts or how many products there were. Now I'm going to have 42 different posts that were created. Again, I usually recommend go through the list of products and actually make sure they're ones you want to create. But then when I come into the post area here, you'll see that all of these different products have been made. So you can go through here. There's all these different um, Samsung TVs. There's uh, a wall mount bracket. All these different types of product posts were created because of the products that I found within the product inspector. Or you could also use the top 100 analyzer to to do this as well. But uh, that's how these posts are created. Now, inside the posts themselves, sometimes the description will be pulled in as well. But, and this is just an Amazon thing, if they change it, it's something that we can do to update the plugin. But uh, right now, some products don't get the descrip description pulled in as well, but sometimes they do. Uh, in any case, I'll pick one here. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have the description. It doesn't. So here you can see I have uh, a link to Amazon, and this is actually an image uh, affiliate link here. And then come down here, and I've got the price as well. So these are all made automatically from the Amasync plugin. So you've got a couple affiliate links in here, and this is a big time saver. So even if you got the description in there, which I generally advise rechanging that text anyways, because you want to have unique content on your blog. You don't want to use automated content. All this is supposed to do is to help you make content more quickly. Because here you can go up here uh, and you could maybe re remove some of the superfluous items about this product. You could just call it review like that. Then you, this is where you go through and you write your content. Now if the description was pulled in, you could look at the description. Maybe use that to come up with some of the ideas. Uh, or you could just go to the site itself. But uh, Amazon's just designed to make a quick Amazon affiliate link, uh, two of them, an image of the product, and then the price. So you can more quickly have some of the components done on a product that you want to be able to promote because you've already got Amazon affiliate links already built in there. So that's what it's designed to do. It's a big time saver. And if I were to go to the preview, uh, the post itself, it would show an image of this product and then the price itself. But that's basically how it works. And it's really just designed to help save you some time. So to recap, you're going to use these three tools, the Azon Top 100 Analyzer and the Azon Product Inspector, to find products that you want to promote. And then in the next step, you're going to export those products via the option that says Export ASINs. It's just a little button in the bottom left-hand corner of the software. 
and then you're going to import those products into your blog using the Amasync WordPress plugin. Now, the final step is to create unique content for the posts that are created. So that's what I was talking about earlier when I was showing you the demo. You don't want to just uh, take the content that's already pre-populated by the plugin and use that. You want to modify it to make it unique uh, or write complete unique content by yourself. So really that's why the description uh, not being pulled in on some of the products isn't as big of a deal. That's just an Amazon limitation of their API. Sometimes the product description won't get pulled in. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using that software, when sometimes you'll see the product description is pulled in and other times you may not. Uh, but by pulling in and automatically creating posts, it helps you cut down on the time for creating posts that you want to write about different products. And then of course, putting in those Amazon affiliate links, one for the image and then one for the price is great because you can of course copy that link for the price change the affiliate link and then you've got a second affiliate link in your blog post as well uh, which is precisely what I'm going to be talking about in the next video is talking about how to make the most money from Amazon using affiliate links throughout different locations within your content and it's all based on my experience making tens of thousands of dollars from Amazon's affiliate program so thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one